<laughs> All right. So we're going to do a little auto loader versus auto reloader showdown. Um, did DPM versus derp and thought we would do this one. Just had to be done. So these were two tanks I thought had to go head and head. Just their differences are unique and similar kind of in the same way. Played with a bit differently one from another, primarily because of their reloading system. The auto loader, as you know, is when you have a few shells in your clip and you can clip out the enemy and you have to wait for your entire clip to reload before you can shoot again. However, when you pay attention to the reloaders, they, as you know, can reload and fire any time without their entire clip being reloaded. So there are some differences because in the auto loader, you can clip out an enemy, but your reload is very long and in that position of having to reload you need an area of support you need an area of cover that is the downfall of a auto loader an auto reloader you actually like i said you get to reload and fire anytime you want while your clip is reloading however there's different time intervals during when that reload happens in the clip per reload and if you just try and fire your one shell that you only have loaded in your clip your DPM is going to be absolutely terrible so trying to reload your clip completely will actually be very beneficial so I'm on the auto loader side both of them are great tanks but I'm on the auto loader side because, like I said, in that time of needing to completely reload, you're in a tight spot where your reload is very long, you need some sort of support or cover, and you're left very vulnerable. Whereas the auto reloader is not so much the case, but like I said, if they kept firing when there's only one round, in their clip they have terrible dpm so it is a trade-off now i am the tier 9 american medium just because there wasn't really a whole lot of players that had the correct tanks so we had quite a lineup here of all of the different types trying to do balanced of mediums light tanks and of the auto loaders and auto reloaders and i really want to thank my subscribers because it it kind of took a bit of time to really kind of get the tanks and i was hoping to get more but you know what when we get so many i'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to dive in so that was the first round now i now i think about this i think this is a little out of order but in according to this video the auto loaders won the first match going here into the second match i'm a medium tank trying to get myself to that position to spot so they're both really good tanks by the way if you guys want to help me with my vids join my discord server and Go to the movie crew channel and request to get the movie crew role. That way you can get notified when I do these training rooms of historical recreation, showdowns, anything crazy I do. I love to have all my subscribers help. So I am in a little bit of a tight spot here. I should have turned off supremacy mode just because I was trying to land on him. <laughs> I am just in fortunate miss and then my cannon just goes straight up. I shoot right into the ground. I'm playing like a complete noob right here. Just 
yeah, luck is just not on my side with this game. So far, each side is down one. And I'm trying to come up here just to get a different angle, and I completely didn't see that standard V. And you can see when the auto loader, and yes, I got lost it. I don't even know where that last shot went. Had most of the tank in my aimer and just choked on that last shot. So two down on each side. But you can see when the auto reloader has its entire clip, you can really fire fast. Whereas the auto loader doesn't necessarily have that. So there is some differences, some slight differences in that play style you gotta be very careful of. So just last one left on the auto loader side. And <laughs> trying to do what he can, but unfortunately just is not able to do it. So great game from both sides. Now that time the auto reloader side won. We're gonna go into one final match here on the mines. Trying to get to an advantageous position just here, right on the side. Really like this spot, can really put the enemy in a very uncomfortable position, but it can really put me in a bad spot. Great shot on that forgetto, but I just start getting hit. And that is definitely not the tank I wanted to face. This is where I'm getting hit. Not a good position. That Kronwagen has an excellent hull down. Just that excellent turret armor. I've got some teammates over here on the flank, so I'm going to cut here center. Given that I have that support from them, it can really put me in a good position right here. <laughs> Just unfortunate with that ricochet. Good shot there. The thing about an autoloader too is you have to know when you don't ever want to just wait till you drain your clip. I mean, even right here, I've got one left. And, but I'm so close to engaging and closing in on the enemy to use that. But a lot of the times how I will commonly use an autoloader is if I'm not in a position to get another shot and I may have enough time to completely reload, I will take that time to, to do that. So that when I do get into a position, I can just clip out the enemy and then relocate. Um, and while I'm relocating, I'm reloading. So just a very, very long reload. Excellent taking him out, but unfortunately, we are falling apart here. I'm not even sure how he right bounced his uh, shell, must have been just a little further up. So, got one last one here. Things are not looking too good. It looks like he was able to get one other kill. It's now one versus two. He is running for the hills and just bleeding hit points. Both enemies having quite a bit of hit points left. We're going to see just what he can pull off here. Bat Chat has a really good maneuverability, but where the Kronwagen is a bit slower, but that problem is is that standard B is going to be he's going to be the biggest issue so from here just fast forward it up trying to see what he can do at cap and unfortunately that was that but once again, great game. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. This is The Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.